I've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here and today I wanted to show you how to download, how to manually download the firmware image files for the latest update for your Samsung device. We're going to be doing this with a program called SamFirm which we can download from xdadevelopers.com but first, before we get into that, because that's an actual Windows program. So before we get into that, we first need to download this phone info application that we got right here from the Play Store. So if you search for phone info in Google Play, you're going to see this little app right here toward the top. Um, they usually gear this towards Samsung devices, but it will work on any device. It's just Samsung smartphones are really popular. So we're just going to go ahead and open up the phone info application. And we're going to swipe over to the CSC code tab right here. And you want to pay attention here because you want to make a note of the active CSC code that we have. So right here we have TPA, which I believe is Panama. But whatever your CSC code is, that's the version of the firmware images for the Samsung Android update that we're going to download. Because if you are on the TPA version of Samsung software, you're going to want to have that same version due to hardware issues, like if I were to install a Snapdragon firmware on this device, it would not work because this is the Exynos chipset. And because I want to have certain applications installed for certain carriers, you want to generally stick to the same mobile operator firmware or at least region for your specific device. So again, we're going to make note of TPA right here. And then we're going to open up the SAM Firm program on the computer and we're going to use that code in conjunction with our model number to get the latest download, the latest firmware. So here we have the SAM Firm program for Windows. I'm going to have the download link for this program on my website and you can find that linked in the video description but it'll be over on AndroidExplained.com once we extract the contents of this download, we're going to have a exe file, which will open up to show you this. Now, if you try to download a firmware without downloading the required files, it's going to result in an error, and you're likely going to be told, hey, you need to download these things. So for this SamFirm program to work, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistribution package and the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistribution package. And I'm going to have both of those linked again in my full tutorial on my website. And they're just pro they're just files from Microsoft that are needed for this to work. So once those are installed or if you have already installed those, then we can proceed back to the SAM firm application and we're going to type out our model, the model number for our device and you'll find this in the general tab of the same program the same application that I showed you before that phone info you're going to see the model or the phone model entry in there and it's going to start out with SM dash and for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus that's dash G9 seven five f because again i have the exynos version and then remember that csc code that i showed you from the second tab we're going to type in that three that two i believe it's all always three letters that region code so for me that was tpa you're going to make sure the auto option is highlighted. 
unless you want to manually fill in this PDA CSC information here. And we're just going to click on the check for update button. Now assuming you have the auto option selected, you have entered the correct model number, and you have entered the correct region code, not for your region, for the device, remember that CSC number. So I live in the United States, but I had this phone imported, and its country of origin was Panama, and their country code is TPA for Samsung. So when I click that check update button, it pulls the database, finds this is the latest update, this is the latest firmware image files for our device, which is useful for doing a factory reset by manually flashing the image files. It's good for returning the phone back to stock Android. It's good for fixing boot loops and restoring your software back to your original firmware. I'm going to be, to be doing a tutorial tomorrow on how to root the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. So I figured it'd be, it would be a good idea to show you how I'm downloading the files for that specific tutorial. So as long as you have some information here on this right side after you click the check update button, then you'll be able to click the download button, make sure both of these are checked, which they should be by default. Once all of that is set, we're going to be clicking the download button. And it's going to ask you where you want to save this file. And this 4.9 gigabyte file will download to your computer. It will be decrypted. And what you're going to end up with is this zip file right here. So it's actually 5.7 gig gigabytes. with most of that file size being in this AB file. So these are the files that we get when we extract the contents of the newly downloaded file. And these are actually the firmware image files for the latest version of Android for the device you entered into SamFirm. And again, we can do a lot of things with this. We can enter these into Odin by themselves to flash stock images and revert to stock Android. Again, I'm going to be showing you how to root this device. So we're going to be using Magisk to patch this AP file in tomorrow's tutorial. Today, I just wanted to show you how to download these image files to your computer so that you can use them in Odin or Magisk or TWRP or anything else.